Hey guys, this is Nate Story with Bright Agritech, and we are going to shoot a video on LEDs answering the question, you know, are they worth the cost? What's the return on investment with LED lights? Okay, so one of the big criticisms out there for LED lighting is that it's just way too expensive. How can I justify paying twice as much, three times as much, five times as much for a fixture as I do for a traditional HID light, which is a totally, totally reasonable question to ask and actually a really good question to ask in a lot of instances. Now, no one is going to dispute the fact that LED lights are pretty expensive, okay? Especially if you're used to pricing on traditional HID lighting, right? If you've been running metal halide, if you've been running uh, plasma or, or what have you, or high pressure sodium, you know, any one of the dozens of different kinds of lights out there, probably looking at LEDs saying, yeah, I don't know, I, I just can't understand how I could justify five times the cost, right? Going from a $100 light to a $500 light. And um, so really the, the answer to that question comes down to a few different things. Number one is what is the starting price of the light? Because there are a lot of different price points out there for lights and um, the cost of LEDs is coming down really, really quickly. So in the coming years, we can expect to see much, much cheaper fixtures. And as they get cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, it will make more and more sense for more people to switch over to LEDs. So central to this entire debate is the idea of CapEx and OpEx. And you guys hear me talk about these things all the time, so I'm gonna write them on the board for you, okay? CapEx and OpEx. And really these are just shorthand for capital expenses and operating expenses, all right? CapEx or operating expenses refers to all of the money you need to get started. So when I talk about CapEx and I talk about OpEx, I'm talking about the cost of buying the fixtures, of setting up the farm, of all of the front end stuff, right? What does it cost to get going? Let's say that's $1,000 and then, um, Let's say that the OPEX is a hundred bucks a month, all right? So the cost of running the farm is a hundred bucks a month. Or if we're talking about the OPEX of the lighting, we're talking about the cost of running that lighting on a month to month or an annual basis. So the cost of running LEDs is half the cost typically of uh, running uh, any other lighting system <clears throat> for the most part. So uh, when we're talking about LEDs, we're talking about half of the overall electrical cost. Now. There, if, if you're getting charged like different fees and other things, um, when you get billed for your electricity, that changes kind of the ratio a little bit. But by and large, they're about twice as efficient. You're paying half as much if you have the same amount of PAR in your growing environment. What does that mean? Okay, so we've got our CapEx here of a thousand bucks. Let's say this is for the LEDs. I've got our OpEx of a hundred bucks. So after 10 months, we would have spent $1,000 plus another thousand dollars for the 10 months. Two, after 10 months, basically 2,000 bucks, right? Two thousand bucks after 10 months for these LEDs. Now, if we're talking about a CapEx for traditional HID lighting, it might be closer to 200, okay? 200 bucks. But the OPEX is 200 a month, right? because we use twice as much as electricity at least. So after 10 months, we have 200 times 10, that's 2,000, plus another 200 bucks worth of CapEx, and we end up with 2,200 every 10 months, or for the first 10 months, not every 10 months, every for the first 10 months, right? So basically what we're seeing here, and this is exaggerated, right, because it doesn't always work out this way, but just giving you an idea of of how that changes. Um, if we go with traditional HID, after 10 months we pay 200 bucks extra. Now as time goes on, at the end of year two, we're talking, you know, for LEDs we're talking 1,000 plus uh, 24 times 100. That's uh, what, 3,400 bucks total cost after two years, okay? With the LEDs, 3,400 bucks. With the, with the uh, traditional HID, we're talking 200 bucks plus 24 times Two, okay? 4,800 plus 200, five grand, right? Now the cost breakdown always doesn't work like this, but that gives you an idea of how those operating expenses add up over time. 
Now the really important thing to understand is that this is predictable. Your capex is predictable. You know what that is. You pay it one time, maybe you're paying it off on a loan, something like that. But this is variable and what that means is that it changes from month to month. And that can be a really scary thing for producers that have a lot of lights. Okay, so this was like a super truncated, really uh, obvious way to do this, all right? Um, most realistically, when we crunch the numbers for most po folks, given common average electrical rates, most folks are breaking even on LED lighting between three and five years. So between three and five years after the purchase, that's when they're breaking even on LED lights. So ultimately what that means is if you're a producer and you want to be growing for six, seven, 10 years, you need to be buying LED lights. It doesn't make sense to buy anything else. Um, unless you're just like trying to buy some HID stuff to get started and you're gonna replace it with LEDs. But honestly, most of the time, with whatever you start up is what you end up with. So if you're considering it on the front end, think about the lifespan of your farm. How long do you wanna be growing? How long do you wanna be using these lights? That should influence your decision whether to buy LED or to go with traditional HID lights. So the, the last thing we need to touch on, if we're talking about lifespan, if we're talking about the, 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 how long you want your farm to last, right, is the question of durability. How long will these things last? Are they better than other fixtures? Um, the answer to that is yes, they last a lot longer than traditional HID fixtures, okay? Um, for the most part, there are a few forms of lighting out there that are pretty competitive. But the great thing about LEDs is when we talk about 50,000 hours on an LED, we're not talking about 50,000 hours and then it goes out, right? Like a, like a high pressure sodium bulb or something like that. It doesn't burn for 50,000 hours and then just go out. What happens is it burns for 50,000 hours and over that time, it loses a little bit of efficiency. So most ratings are for around 50,000 hours at a 10% efficiency loss. So what you know is after 50,000 hours, that light should still be burning somewhere between, somewhere around 90% efficient, which is still great for production. And if you've got it turned down, if you're not operating at full capacity, oftentimes they'll last a lot longer before they start to degrade. So you have a really long-term, durable, and rugged light it's not gonna you know, break nearly as easily. It can be banged. Um, oftentimes it's easier to waterproof. It depends on the fixture. But by and large, they're great lights. They're very rugged. They, they hold up really well in the growing environment and they last for a really long time. So hopefully that answers your question about LED cost and ROI, uh, return on investment. And um, if you guys have any questions, make sure that you ask them below. The lighting guide is in the link below as well. It explains how LEDs work and kind of goes into some of this um, in to, to, to greater detail than we typically do in these videos. As always, please subscribe if you find these videos useful. And thanks so much for watching.